What's up, everybody? Welcome to Playing Dead, IGN's weekly show about Telltale Games' is The Walking Dead. Hey. Hi. How are you? You are Owen Thomas. I am. You are a big deal. <laughs> I wish. You're Omid. I am. Let's, uh, let's hug it out about that. Oh, Come here. God. Sorry about that. That's okay. That was some, that was okay. some, that was some bullshit. It was, mean, it was, man. It was. That was a rough one. If, and if there's anything I can compliment you on, is that when Omid showed up in season one, I was like, nope, kill this guy, get him away. Like, I don't even want to deal with this guy. I don't trust him. Like, that was a big question. Like, they're good at asking these questions, the Telltale, making you ask them, I guess. They don't ask them themselves. You understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Omi and Krista come walking in, and it's like, they have no bags, no belongings, no crew. I'm like, don't trust these guys. Who has bags? Everybody wears the same clothes every episode, so. That I'm fine with, but you okay. carry a bindle or something, like a hobo on a stick. You gotta have some kind of supplies. We were on train tracks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Things were, things were interesting. Yeah. And I was like, I don't trust this guy. Never liked Krista. <laughs> Never warmed up to her. But Omid immediately, funny dude. Oh, well, I think that was his, his, he was there to bring levity to the, the sure, situation. Sure, and it worked, but that, you know, a lot of people try to bring levity to situations. It doesn't work. He didn't do much else, but he did. He did plenty else. Didn't well, he, he, hurt well, his he leg. buoyed the group. He hurt his leg and laid in bed for like the whole last episode. Exactly. And, like, you know, he did a bunch of stuff. Exactly. Um, you are one of the voice actors who, when you talk, it is Omid. You are Omid. You yeah. sound like Omid. You are funny like Omid. Did they write <laughs> Omid for you? I'd like to think, you know, I mean, people have said that I kind of, kind of look like him a little bit as well, but um, I don't, I don't think that's I how it works it. in the industry. But yeah, and it, it's kind of funny because usually, especially video games, I'm always doing an altered version of my voice. This yeah. is just, Omid is a hyper version of me in many ways, so. <laughs> <laughs> so then how did you get involved with the role? Was it just an open casting call audition or did they come to you? Or? Oh no, through my, my agent stars in San Francisco that I've been with for 12 years now. Um, they, hey, yeah, thank you, thank you, and thank you to Stars. Yeah. Um, they, they should uh, start sponsoring the show. This is they like the should. third episode. They should. We Chris, about. are you listening? Um, that's the person who's running. I the figured show. as much. Yeah. I didn't think just Chris um, Fernandez. Are you listening? He was a kid. I, we didn't get along. <laughs> very cool. Chris Christie, are you listening? He is we were, not listening. We were just talking about. He's, ta he's dealing with another bridge. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. But yeah, they sent the they sent the audition, and I remember I got the lines, and of course, you know, as as you've heard from the other actors on on the. On the game that it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before, mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, they they called me in and started doing it. And the second I got the script, I was very confused at first because I didn't understand the multiple choice right, thing. Right, right, right. I didn't right. understand what was happening. I was like, wait, but yeah. How does that work then for a script you get? Does it just say Omi, oh, and then it's four different versions of a line? It is, it is, and it's all mixed up. And that was the funny thing about it is then when I finally went to go play it, I didn't have a recollection. Because sometimes there's also dead end, you know, Neanderthal links that don't go anywhere that they don't end up not using. Sure. Um, so I had no idea how it was going to play out, and so I thought that was made it kind of fun to play, you know. And as we've talked about <laughs> more than once, I was playing season one. I got up, walked away from the computer. I was like, "This is too <laughs> done. Get me out of here. <laughs> this is why. I mean, why do I have to kill this person? Why do I have to do that? Oh my god. Cutting off legs. It's unlike yeah. It's unlike any other game. I was like, why am I having a reaction to a game? You know, so usually you, it's like, that's about it to my Yeah, right, you, to the I'm game. gonna throw the controller and exactly, stop yourself. Exactly. But you talk about, you know, your 12 years with stars and doing this for so long. I mean, when you got the script, you knew it was something different. Did you know what The Walking Dead was? Did you understand that part of the culture? Um, I did, I mean, I do, uh, you know, uh, people like zombies. Um, and I, you know, I followed the show. I didn't read the comics, but you know, I knew I had a basic idea of what yeah. happened with them. And um, so, I thought this could be big, you know. I had worked with Telltale before. Um, I was in their their uh, the Back to the Future thing, and Who are you uh, then? I was uh, Kid Tannen, and that one, nice. and uh, which was really <laughs> fun. And and um, I thought, okay, th these guys these guys have been like doing great stuff for a while, yeah. and um, I I really had a good sense that this was going to be good. And sure enough, I remember the first time I actually sat down and played it. I ended up writing all the other voice actors because they're all everybody. Season one is friends with me. We all hang out. Uh, Clementine is my neighbor. She like lives three blocks from me. Nice. And, yeah. Uh, pretty sure she's stealing my newspapers though. What a bitch. I know. Is it like a is it a gated voice actor community? <laughs> like is it just every San Francisco slash retirement home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you walk the halls and go, shut up, everybody, because actors like to talk. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. But I I played the game through and was so blown away by how good they were. Yeah. Uh, just amazing. And so I actually sat down and wrote everybody an email saying, I am just honored to be a part of this because it was just out of the park. Nice. Amazing. amazing. 
amazing. But then you, you click send, and then like your neighbor opened the window, and you're like, I'm right here. Why are <laughs> exactly. you emailing me anything exactly. about this? Exactly. So when did you find out you were coming back for season two, and how long did the elation last before they're like, but you're only in it for like five minutes? I knew ahead of time that basically uh, Julian, the director, kind of sent me an email. He was like, hey, so... And uh, it was so because I was like, they made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made it, and, and maybe they're those two silhouettes yeah, walking yeah. there. And um, and then when I found out, I was like, oh, you're kidding me. I, I, knew, I knew he passed away. I didn't know how. Yeah. I was hoping for like chainsaws and come get some or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you want him to go out like a badass. Exactly. No. Not shot by some punk kid in the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I understand. It's it's telltale. I think I see that as kind of um, the wave goodbye to any levity in the game and kind of things are going to get serious now. Right. So in the service of the story, I guess it had to be done, but I wish it could have been like more like avenge me or something. So did you take then pleasure in seeing everyone get excited about those screenshots? The screenshots came out and they're like, oh, me's back. And we're all like, oh, no, yeah, oh, me. Yeah, like, yeah. But you know that that's like five seconds from you getting blown away. Yeah, and of course the sad thing was people were like, yeah, I'm so happy he's back. They wrote me and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yup, everything yeah. sure is working out for your old pal Omi. Yeah, and then of course after it happened, I got emails, why didn't you tell us? I was like, that's not the way it works. Yeah, exactly, friends, yeah. let me spoil the whole thing for you. Yeah, yeah. So, what's next then? I mean, like, do you hold out hope for... The, the interesting thing about season two, right, is the jumps in time, yeah. right? Like, you know, obviously you wouldn't be there when Krista is giving birth or anything, but there's still time to be filled in like you're talking about. Like, we're left to, to believe right now that, yeah, on the hill it was Krista and Omi, and that's how they got reunited, but that's a scene as a player I'd still love to play through in a flashback. Do you hold out hope for that? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's... it's um... I think everybody wants to know. And yeah. knowing Telltale, it's not gonna be that simple. It's not gonna be like, you know, we're gonna run down the hill like the Little House on the Prairie and give her a hug. Yeah. Um, but um, I, you know, I, I thought about that a lot. And, you know, it's funny because I got caught up in the game, number one, because it's a great game, but number two, because I know these people and it was like, it was so weird having all these intimate scenes with people and, and then hanging out with them and then see, and, you know, talking at a table about, have you heard anything? Who's gonna yeah, die? Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna live? You know, and and so it's it's it, it mixed me up emotionally in many ways. You know, so when I finally got that thing that that uh, Omid gets it, I was like, man. <laughs> you know. But you let Krista live. Uh, but yeah, there's so many things to fill in. I mean, as far as not even that space for like where they met and what happened to them that point. And I was so excited to be kind of a family unit with Clementine. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the space, the 16-month space, yeah. that whatever happens to, to dear old Krista with the baby, which yeah, is just... Yeah. They've got to get back to that initially. Because, man, that's a, that's a double punch, that yeah. beginning of that game. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. You jumped, yeah, jump ahead to the fire, and there's no baby there. Yeah, womp, womp, and they're, like, womp, cooking a Muppet womp. or something. So here's the idea I have. The playing Dead show. We've been on a run lately. We've had a lot of good guests. Sure. These voice actors like yourselves. Me and Dave Fenoy were talking about backstory stuff and how we can do this. Dot com. Here's, yeah, Dave Fenoy com, of course. Here's what I think they could do right now with playable characters for the DLC for the end of season two. Your 400 days kind of DLC would be interstitials with characters like Chris and Omid. I play as Omid and this is what happened after we got separated from the group. Mm. Interstitials I play as Kenny, here's what happened after I fell in the hole. Interstitial with Molly, here's what happened after she just left like a jerk. Uh, that would be awesome. I'm selling that for you right now. Okay, that would be I good. I know you're happy with stars. I think I could <laughs> represent you well as well. I could get you, I'm just going, I'd be pitching there, I'd be giving them scripts, spec scripts. Let's talk percentages, baby. Not very low. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm mm -hmm, digging it. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be fun, but you know, Telltale isn't uh, isn't about serving things up on a platter to people. They aren't yeah. predictable, and that's no. the problem with no, them. No, they're like, ha ha ha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, everybody here who's been on this show lately, all these voice actors who work with Telltale, are in a million different Telltale projects, a million different characters. We know you as Omid. Now we know you're a kid Tannen as well. Mm -hmm. All right, who else are you? When else do we hear your voice again? Um, in in uh, The Walking Dead, I, I'm going to err on the side of saying nothing. Um, but you know, you may know League of Le I mean Le League of Legends. Um, sure. Uh, 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 I've heard of this lol. Twisted Fate and Victor. Uh huh. Um, and I've done a lot of Sims work and. Oh yeah, you all have that Simlish. Yeah. 
That's, that's tough stuff. <laughs> it's seriously. Is there a dialect coach in the booth with you? He's like, no, I'll say it a little bit. Like, pretty much. Really? Pretty much. There's a listing. They have the, basically a laid out of a whole bunch of different words, and you have to make them match the, uh, the um, animation. Yeah. So it is the most coffee I've ever had in my life. And wow. Said, yeah. It is just intense stuff. You come out of there, and you're like, that's me going to sleep. Oh, OK. okay. okay. I, was like, I thought I was waiting for the simlish part of it. I didn't <laughs> know what that was. So then Omid, it seems like, has a bow put on him. It's over for him. How do you want people to remember Omid? Omid was a good guy, you know? That was the thing, is he's a very, there's not much to not like about him. He may have been inappropriate at some points trying to like poke fun at things, but that was that, I think that's what he was there for. He was, he was just a solid guy, and, and so that's in part why he was my favorite character that yeah. I've, ever, I've ever done. And as we said earlier, and I'm sure you've covered, is that this video game was so unlike anything else, it felt like we were in a, you know, I got the sides and they were like a, it was like a play. You know, mm -hmm. um, whereas every other video game is, yeah, you know, or like, you know. Well, I will do with all of that. Yeah. That's simulus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, final question. I lied. I said, what, you know, I want you to talk about Omi real quick. My final question for you, though, this is something people have argued with me in the comments before. Okay. Right before Omi died, mm -hmm. did he have sex? I think so. Thank you. Okay. I think so. Krista gives the come hither look. You know, they go in the other bathroom. Remember that time in Barstow? But he also did say to Clem, make sure to keep track of your things. True. Yeah. That she didn't, didn't work listen out. to that. Yeah. So yeah, that's who like, knows? That's like the heartbreaking moment, right? Like yeah. on top of you dying, of course, that's sad. But then when Krista comes in and finds the body and then like uh, looks at the gun and looks at Clem and you're like, damn it. Clem. He told you to keep track of your things. Look what happened. Yeah. Is that what she said right afterwards? Is that your Krista that's impression? That's Krista impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Owen. What a pleasure. You're a joy. Thank you so you much are for joy, coming by. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how IGN Playing Dead works. Every Saturday we talk about The Walking Dead from Telltale Games. You click on it, you watch it, we all have fun, and I sometimes kick things over, but not for two episodes in a row. So, it's a new life for Greg Miller.